And when I do my voiceovers and stuff like that, I'm usually out in my, what I call my studio. It's out in the garage and it has been a little chilly out there. So I decided I need to find a place where I can work in the house. Now, I'm here, obviously, in my kitchen, and there is a lot of echo in here. So this isn't the greatest of sound. So I decided I needed a new microphone. I don't usually do tech reviews or anything like that, but I got a new toy, and I just wanted to show y'all. Went out and picked up the Fafine, Fifine, however you want to pronounce it, uh, AM8 dynamic microphone. And had have something to hold it with, so I got the... Ulanzi LS26 low profile microphone. Let's open these up and take a look, see what we got here. I'm going to start off with the microphone here. Nice box. There is a user guide that I probably won't use. What we got here? Here is a base for the microphone. Take this out here. Okay, and here is the microphone. It is not as heavy as I thought it would be. It's a plastic construction. Uh, we've got gain knob here and a headphone knob. Control it if you're actually plugging in headphones to listen. Um, nice velour type windscreen there to capture all the plosives and stuff like that. See if that slides off. There we go. See, there's the capsule in there. And comes with a cable. That is a USB-C to USB-A. So this can actually connect directly into the computer or it also has an XLR connection. So if you have an interface, you can plug directly into that too. I went with a dynamic mic because I hopefully it'll cut down some of the echoes and other noises that happen in the kitchen. And this is a mute button. It's a capacitive mute button on the back. Um, you just touch that and you can mute it up. Let's get this set up with the boom arm. Here is our lousy boom arm. Low profile arm. There it is here. And it twists like that. And keep your microphone low. Has a three and a quarter inch connector there. Um, I like this because one, you come straight across your desk. And if you're strong enough, it actually tilts that way too, so you can get the mic close to your mouth. Straps here for your cables. Your clamp, clamp it to your table. And if you have that type of mic, you've got a holder here. That doesn't work with my mic. And these are the knobs for adjusting the angle and stuff like that. Some little tab. And something else over here that doesn't want to come out. I guess I'll be looking at those directions after all. I think that's just kind of an adapter. But let's get it all hooked up and try it out. Okay, lesson learned. I was recording, telling you all about the microphone and was showing you how the lights were. And apparently I touched the mute button and was just talking and was recording nothing. No sound at all. So there is a mute button right here. So be careful well where you touch on this because you will mute yourself and waste a whole lot of recording. Um, I can't hear how this sounds right now. I don't have headphones on, but I am going to take a listen to it once we're done. Uh, this is the normal distance that I'll be uh, recording my podcast from. That's what I'll be using this for. And let's give it a test. Um, test one, two, test one, two. This is Neil Strada, Big Mister, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> um, and I'm squeaking coming back from the back. I uh, don't know what that is, but we'll find out. I'm here in the kitchen. Uh, let's try a plosive test. Peter Piper picked a peck of 
pickled peppers, but he didn't like pineapple on his pizza. Let's get close for a proximity effect so I can sound all deep and sexy. You like that, don't you? <laughs> uh, back up a little bit. Uh, I don't know how much of the room you're picking up. We're going to take a listen and we're going to go from there. Okay, wow. I took a listen and there is a definitely a market difference between the phone microphone and um, the AM8 here. There is definitely a difference. I can hear all the room has been taken out. Um, this does a good job of rejecting all noise from around it. Uh, it's picking up directly what's in front of it. This is a, um, a top address mic. You should know that. Even though it might look like a condenser microphone, it's definitely top address. Sounds good to me. It sounds good to me. It's definitely what I'll be using for my podcast. And so I don't have to go outside in the cold garage. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm a big baby. I like indoors. Anyway, um, the Ulanzi LS26, this is the upgraded low profile arm. That's the one with the um, arm that's articulated so I can raise it up and down, get it close to my mouth. The uh, standard version only turns from side to side, doesn't get any higher. Um, just wanted to share this with you. Hope you enjoy it. And um, I can say I don't do a whole lot of tech reviews, but I want to do this unboxing, let you know what I'm going to be using in our podcast. Thanks a lot. Be sure and check out Just Trying to Stay Married, the podcast I'm doing with my beautiful wife, Phyllis Strauder. Um, it's on YouTube, it'll be on Spotify, Amazon Music, and all that kind of stuff. But it's a big mister. Be sure and hit that subscribe button, notification button, and I'm out. Deuces.